I'm trying to give me a bag. 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 What's up? What's up? You are now listening to FY Fly the podcast. And I'm your host, Hassan Thomas, along with Remy. And we are here to share tools on how millennials can budget, save, invest, and understand student debt and credit to achieve financial freedom. If you're a high school student, college student, or someone who's interested in gaining more financial insight, this podcast is for you. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to give me a bag. I'm trying to... What's up, what's up, my fly folks out there? How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing all right. Welcome to the FY Fly Podcast. My name is Hassan Thomas, a.k.a. the kid that did and the man that can, baby. And I'm here with the Flies co-host around, man, Remy G, a.k.a. Mr. Make a Play. How you doing, G, man? How you doing, bro? Man, I'm turned up. I'm turned up. And today we have a very special guest, your favorite central and spiritual rap goddess, Ms. Devon, straight out of Dallas, Texas, man. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing amazing. I'm so honored and grateful to be here with you guys tonight to talk about everything we're going to get into. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's oh, get yeah. It. We happy to have you here. We so happy to have you because I know you're going to drop a lot of gems. Talk to us a little bit about your music, about your spirituality and how this spirituality and this aura that you that you have is out here having you touring, making plays and making this money and living your life. So we so super happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so for much. For sure, for sure. So let us know, because we talked a little bit about your, you know, your spirituality and things, but let us know what makes you and your music unique and different from the rest. So basically what makes me unique and what sets me apart from the rest is the fact that I try to, well, I don't try, I do, first of mm -hmm. all. So that's something that I'm working on too is, you know, just being mindful of the words because your words are spells and what you say is what your reality becomes. So with that right. being said again, so let me go back, is I am all about showcasing the transformation and the evolution of things. I feel mm. like a lot of people, they feel like they have to put themselves in a box. We are humans. We evolve every day who I am today might be a different person than who I was yesterday. And I'm okay yeah. with showcasing that because as human beings, we are allowed to change. We are allowed to change our mind. We mm -hmm. are here to experience. And I showcase that in every single thing I do. I'm multifaceted and I'm not about putting myself in a box. And I'm all about the, like I said, um, the balance of things, right? So yeah. I'm not a person that's like, oh, because I'm spiritual, I have to like, censor who i am again Thanks. we are humans with this we are spiritual beings living a human experience that is mm -hmm. the balance of things that's me being from where i'm from being from the hood being from humble beginnings but also being spiritually evolved and getting to a place where i am and bridging those two together and not allowing one to overcompensate for the other because again mm -hmm. i am all things and that's what I try to showcase and portray in both my music, my brand, and just who I am in the person, because that is who I am. Yeah. And I, I feel that 100% because, like you said, and even it's not just people, like it's society. People try to, you know, trap and lock people like, okay, she's a singer. You know, Remy and I are podcasters. You know what I'm saying? Like people try to lock in people in certain areas or certain fields. And I'm so glad you said that because you literally can... You know, with me, I'm a podcaster, but I'm also a teacher and a professor. And I'm also a, a fintech CEO. Like I told you earlier that I'm coming out with the app, you know, that will allow students, high school students, college students, recent grad students to budget their money, save their money and eliminate debt all within one app. So 100 percent feel what you're saying, where don't let nobody box you in. You know, if you have this passion, go do that. You have this passion, go do that. But a little bit like where. Where is that balance of, okay, let me focus on this one thing compared to let me go ahead and try all these different things. Like, like with you, for example, with your rapping, like you focused in on that and now you're doing other things like, you know, entrepreneur and, and selling like the bees that you sell and different things like that. So where does that, that lane come in? Like focus on one thing compared to just shooting a sh shot and trying different, trying to find your passion basically. So actually if I could go back, mm. it actually was the opposite, right? Okay. When I was younger, like in my earlier um, telling on myself, right? 
when I was in my earliest stages of life, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. when I was in my earliest, <laughs> when I was in my <laughs> earliest stages of um yo, young adulthood, yeah. I um I did everything. I was a personal trainer. I got to mm. pay. You can literally see it on IG right now. It's still up. up. I don't post body body. I was a personal trainer. I sold yeah. insurance. I yeah. worked for Aflac. I'm a veteran. <laughs> I was in the Navy for five years. You know what I'm saying? I, wow. um I did network marketing. You know what uh, I'm saying? Like I, I tried all the things. I tried mm. all the things. But in the midst of all the things that I was trying, there was that core of who I was yeah. and what my passion lied, and that was music. I feel like the only way to do that and experience life is to try all the things. When we're young, like yeah. whoever told us that we gotta have it all figured out and what we want to do when we graduate high school, uh -huh. like it must. That it's was, a joke. It's big so it's cap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I feel like you really setting yourself up for failure. Which, with that being mm. said, nothing's wrong with failing. Okay, every time yeah. you fail, it's only failing when you give up, man. Nah. You right. know what I'm saying? Every time you fail, that gets you closer to your success. So keep failing. Like, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I did everything, and then when I got to a point where I actually lost everything, like. Mm -hmm. I moved to Dallas and because I was in a space of being selfless too soon, I lost everything. And the mm -hmm. only thing I had left was pen and paper. Literally, I was in my friend, third bedroom, depressed and writing about what, what, what I was going through. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, like, as I was going through my spiritual awakening, like, yo, my purpose is to bring all of this together. Yeah, and I'm the umbrella, right? So I'm the brand, and everything that encompasses me are like if I'm the corporation, like mm -hmm. these are all DBAs. Okay, and doing business ass. Come on, talk you to you. You know what I'm saying? Talk to her. you. Know you know. Yeah, but these are all you know, just different, just DBAs of who I am as a person. So now that's where now my hyper focus is on my music. And myself as a person of brand, but also too, it's not even really on my music. It's on me. Mm. Okay. Because I had a because business, you the brand, right? You I had you the corporation, like you said. Where, I love it. Exactly. Where I was doing all these different things. I had a business with a media company, Her Image, where we did events and had an online magazine for highlighted mm -hmm. black women. I had Her Scent, where I was selling fragrances. Divine Feminine, where I was selling lingerie. But then I said, yeah. Yo, all these things. I was putting everybody ahead of myself. That's what all my brands were about. But I realized mm -hmm. that I was actually the person that was supposed to be at the forefront, forefront so that all these things can thrive and then yeah. I can bring those things along. So that's where I'm at in that stage. I love that. I yeah, love I that. Yo, are you ready to hit your next level? Do you want to increase your drive, destiny, and dollars? Well, if so, check out my new book, From College to COVID, 24 Lessons Learned During the Lockdown where I've compiled five of the biggest lessons I learned going from college to COVID to starting my financial literacy empire, FYI Fly, plus 19 lessons from your favorite entrepreneurs, entertainers, and athletes that have been featured on our show. There's literally something for everyone. So purchase your copy today at FYFly.com backslash from college to COVID. Let's go. And one thing I want to tap on before we, before we really get into everything else is that separation piece you know you said before you you know you was living in i can't remember where you said but before you went to the navy or yeah was it, was it navy? I, yeah i'm from florida originally okay so you was living in florida and you needed that separation to go and then you went to the navy so talk to my audience about why that separation was so important to you because what i really do believe is elevation requires separation you know mm -hmm. what i mean so talk to us about that 100 percent. so for me, it was, you don't know what you don't know. And a lot of times in the environments yeah. that we've gotten comfortable in and that we've been in our entire lives, we only, we like, we only get access to specific information, mm -hmm. specific lifestyles, just different things that we see going on around us. So we don't know yeah. what we don't know. And a lot of times separating from that allows you to expand your mind, expand your thinking, expand your par paradigm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get access to realize like, yo, there is more out here in the world than what I see around me. And also another thing is that separation also allows you to 
understand who you are authentically because mm -hmm. we are the we are made up of all of these different elements our environment our parents nature nurture yep. music what we feed our brains what we mm -hmm. went to school you know what i'm saying all, of, all of it has an things. impact and separated allows you to get to the core of who you are authentically mm -hmm. and just wholesomely outside of all of those influences that nurtured you into the person that you became. That's huge. And Ms. Devon, I think something else that makes you truly unique is the way you're able to capture and curate a community. So talk to the young to artists and entrepreneurs about the difference between building a community compared to just building a following. That's a good yeah, question. Yeah, so uh, that has been something that I have like dreamed of doing forever. So when I when I mentioned her image, right, her image was a brand that was driven by the community. That's mm -hmm. that was my whole purpose for doing it. I always felt like my one of the things I love saying is like I do it for for the girls that um, that don't feel seen or heard. And that's mm. what that platform was about, giving okay. those women or those girls that did not feel seen and did not feel heard a platform to feel seen and to feel heard. So mm. now that I'm doing that, I already had that history with the brand, but now I'm doing it with who I am as a person. I think what's important is to be authentic and to be mm. true to who okay. you are and to mm. be transparent. So many people that are striving for the following, they attach themselves to trends, to current yeah. events. And they also don't really care too much about their engagement. So I read. And mm -hmm. while we all have different learning styles and different things when it comes to social media, it's important to tap into all of those different things so your community can get to know who, who you are, essentially, mm -hmm. right? So the content that you're putting out, your words, what you're saying, what you're showcasing, what you're portraying, and also having that balance, like not just focusing on the brand, like yeah. showing all of it. If you go to my page right now, you're going to see a little bit of everything. You're going to see mm. me beat up with my makeup done, looking like a, you know, yeah. snack. And you're going to see uh -huh. me in my authentic skin, you know what I'm saying, blemishes, whole nine. You know, mm. and still glowing. You're going to see Come me on, dancing. You're going to see me rapping. You're going to see me yeah. talking about all these different things. And that's how you build a community is through that authenticity and not just hyper-focusing on the trends and, mm -hmm. you know, just showcasing who you are as a person. Yeah, because those trends go away. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And then once that trend goes away and you try to hop on a whole different trend, those fans that were there for you for that following trend, they're going to be like, what is this? Who Who is this exactly. person? You know what I'm saying? So I definitely agree 100% with that. So before we let you go, Ms. Devine, this is FYI Fly, a show about financial literacy, which is simply understanding not only how to budget your money, but being able to grow and save your money effectively and efficiently. So our true goal here is to really bridge the gap between entertainment and education. So we want to know, Ms. Devine, mm -hmm. give us one positive money habit that you got and one negative money habit that we can cut off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So let me think about it because I didn't really get a chance to think about this earlier when I read it. So a positive money habit. Mm hmm Hmm. I feel like I don't spend my money on like unnecessary things. Yeah. Would that be? Yeah, that's that be? a that's okay. a that's a yeah. Like I don't because you focused on right. Yeah. yeah, like I'm not spending my money on cl all these clothes, all these shoes, all yeah. this like stuff. Like, because even you know? one thing that I always tell people, you could tell somebody's priorities based on where they're spending their money and based on where they're spending their time. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds like you spending your money to, you know, get back some of your time and also, you know, to turn up your time and, and, and follow your passion. So exactly. Exactly. Okay. And don't so don't, don't think we forgot about that negative. It, so but, no, it. but you said it. No, I'm, I'm about to get into it because what you say uh, actually ties into that. So, okay. I don't know. To me, this would be a negative money habit only because like I'm the type of person when I have like tunnel vision. Yeah. I'm willing to make sack because I have, I have like, fuck, oh, 
like forget faith of a mustard seed. I got faith uh, of like, like this girl is delusional. You know, mm -hmm. like that's my faith. My faith is like on some delusional stuff. So yeah, when I like believe something wholeheartedly, and I have that tunnel vision, I will put all my money. I will put all my eggs in one basket mm -hmm. <laughs> in that moment when really, oh, mind you, I, I used to work for a financial accounting firm asset instead of having asset allocation. Okay. That's a good okay, one, right? Okay, talk to oh. it. Yeah. Instead of, uh. instead of the <laughs> asset allocation, I put uh -huh. all my money in one account, one stock account, one whatever, diversified. instead okay. of I'm diversifying it. Uh-huh. Exactly. So okay. I think that's, but I, but I'm aware of it, you know, mm -hmm. but it's just cause like, I'm a little delusional right now. Like I think it's, I, I, I feel like it's going to work. So I'm just okay so with I making wouldn't... certain sacrifices. I, and I, I really love that. And that was a great answer because that's honestly not a, a, a negative because what you're doing is you're investing into yourself. You know but what I'm you saying? Know As we talked negative? about earlier, mm -hmm, go ahead. And I, and like I said, I'm, I try to be pretty transparent and, and open. It, mm -hmm. The reason for me personally, why it's negative is because, and I do not suggest like, don't try this at home kids. Like if you have, real life priorities like because i'd be so detached from reality if you have mm -hmm. like real life priorities like take care of your priorities please yeah. me mm -hmm. personally like i'll my faith is like i'm gonna do this thing right now and then i have faith that like at the last minute everything is gonna work out and everything that's what works that's out for what me, that's what we can't go for <laughs> no, <laughs> i, I know that you. I know, but look though, but the reason why, the reason why I have the faith that I have is cause everything always works out for me personally, but mm -hmm. that's cause my, my manifestation power is like my mindset. Like you gotta, you gotta work up to that point. You gotta get in the gym and exercise your, your powers. You know what I'm saying? Before you can like <laughs> move but like still, that. I, I ain't gonna lie. But I can't, I, I can't, I can't let that, I can't let that fly. FY fly. You didn't know I, was, I can't let that fly. What's up? What's up? Oh, y'all haven't heard? FY fly just released their new website. Check out the link in the show notes and help us test out our site. Please check our free features, educational resources, and our blog that we update daily. We look forward to hearing from y'all. Now let's dive in. Because if we let you know, let that message fly, then they would get into that one situation where that no, could be. We don't want to let that message uh, uh, fly. Uh -huh. We don't. That's why I said okay. it. Okay, okay. okay I know okay, somebody gotcha. out there doing that. Makes that's why sense. I said, Makes kids, sense. don't try this at home. Uh, facts, facts, facts. So, yeah, to, to speak to that, I think having that faith is great. But where to, to bring it back to a, a financial term, the term is to pay yourself first. That's what we call, um, you know, is, is a book called Richest Man in Babylon. And he became the richest man in Babylon because he always paid himself first. Meaning when he got his check, when he got his money, he paid his investments. He paid down his bills. He paid down into his savings accounts. He paid down to all these different accounts. And then that leftover money. Now that's his turn up money. Now that's his, let's put this into the business money. Let's put this into me. I'm the business. Let's put it on me. Let's invest in myself because I'm the brand. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's where for the younger folks listening, that's where you pay yourself first and understand your fixed expenses. And basically what a fixed expense is, is everything that's going to stay the same, whether it's your rent, whether it's your car, note, different things like that, your fixed expense, you figure those things out figure out that amount. And then from there, you save that certain amount of money for that certain expense, those fixed expenses. And then after that, now it's time to turn up. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? But I agree with you saying hundred percent, we need to be responsible, you know, first and then, you know, definitely, definitely have that faith, but let's make sure we taking care of what's directly in front of us. Exactly. Before please. we, and thank you. <laughs> Before we go off and, you know, definitely, like I said, and definitely like Devon said as well, have that faith, but make sure you're taking care of your responsibilities first, first. and then let's get active. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I really appreciate you 
joining the FY Fly podcast. I need you to give us some final words for, for the young folks listening and also tell us how they can reach you. Okay, so you can reach me on all social media platforms at I am underscore divide. Parental advisory is definitely suggested. Um, <laughs> 18 and up only. Sorry kids uh -huh. love ya <laughs> and let them also let them know where they can reach you let them know what you got what you got coming up yeah so you can find me again on all streaming platforms at i am divine follow me on youtube please and thank you if you want to get a little behind the scenes of my lifestyle and just everything i got going on um at i am divine all platforms i am underscore divine or add an underscore if you need to or no underscore but it's pretty much i'm divine on everything and as far as what i got going right now you know the music videos for my single super mover is coming out very very soon yeah so i'm really excited for that it's going to be a lituation and also on, we got now. the behind the mic reality show the dallas Texas is coming to a roku screen near you on a black yeah. owned um tv channel varsity bpm and thank you both remy sonny fyi fly like thank you guys so much for having like every day i realize that my delusionality is becoming my reality because like yeah big old me you know i used to be like little old me but no big old me is like yeah talk your talk it on podcasts and stuff uh -huh. like <laughs> i used to be in my reality not living like this scripting like i want to be on platforms i want to share my voice and now look my delusionality has become my reality so Come get into now. it manifestation baby manifestation mindset and money baby that's what it's all about man Period. that's what it's all about everybody listen i need y'all to tap back in for the next following monday next music monday thank you all for listening to fy fly the podcast and we hope you enjoyed the show tune in next week for more financial literacy insights with our special guests Please visit our website, social media platforms, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at FYI Fly Podcast. That's FYI FLI Podcast. See y'all next week and stay fly.